here with much more. Fox Business host uh, Charles Payne is with us. Let me understand this. So they got in California a 13.5% state income tax on top of the top federal income tax rate of 40%. So that's 53 uh, and a half cents out of every dollar just in income tax, never mind property taxes, gas taxes, other taxes that we all pay. Uh, so now, if you manage to save money and by definition, quote, become wealthy, now they want another bite at the apple. And then when you die, they get another bite at the apple. Uh, how many times are they going to take a bite of the apple? Well, they, they're working on one more really feverishly now, Sean, because you, you mentioned uh, the massive exodus of people there, uh, at the exit tax. Now, this came up a couple of years ago. They've been trying to work it in where if you leave the state, they can still tax you. And so it's like that song, Hotel California. You can check out <laughs> yeah. any time you like, but your wallet can never leave, right? And, and it's really nuts. So what they did the first couple of times, a couple of years ago, a few proposals, they started low, right? 30 million, then down to you know, like single-digit millions. This one is an extra wealth tax. So they'll start with the billionaires first, and they'll take a big chunk out of all of their assets. They'll add them all up. And then uh, and a couple of years, it goes down to $50 million. You and I have seen this movie before. Uh, at some point, it would go from $50 million to $20 million to $10 million to $1 million to $400,000. You cannot leave the state. So you can't afford your electric vehicle. So you can't afford a mortgage. So you can't afford all the taxes you just laid out. Too bad. You shouldn't have been here. Now, here's the, here's the rub. Uh, what do they say justifies this? Well, California wants to recoup some of the money that it's invested in businesses and individuals. You know that old canard? We used to hear it a lot from President Obama. We hear it a lot from Elizabeth Warren, that if you walk on the sidewalk, somehow the state is partly responsible for your success. Forget about the taxes we pay every day. Forget about the blood, sweat, and tears. Forget about the savings and the sacrifice. The fact that you live in California means that you owe California, and how dare you attempt to leave. Let me ask you, you know, in, in the early years of my adult life, the many years, and there were a lot of them, where I was living paycheck to paycheck, I never looked at anybody else and thought they should be paying for anything that I own or have in life in any way. Uh, have we grown a portion of this society that feels that entitled, that they want to empower and embolden their government to take from this group of people and redistribute it to that group of people? In other words, have enough Americans now bought into this redistribution uh, capitalism, socialism model? Is that, is that now a, a prevalent point of view? Have I missed the, the boat on this? I, I don't think we're there yet. But I got to tell you, President Biden gave it his best shot last year. Earned income tax credits for couples making $300,000. You know, they, they took the, the groundswell and they took it up a few notches. Government handing you money, paying you more money not to work than you would have made working. Uh, and of course, with society, with children, with kids in school, they're trying to drive home this message. There's something... Uh, I would say innate. There's something about the ethos of this nation, raising yourself up by the bootstraps that's still in our core. Uh, they haven't been able to unwind it, but I tell you what, they have done a really good job. They've chipped away at it, this entitlement notion and this fairness notion. It goes hand in hand, and that somehow if someone's got a lot more money than you do, something nefarious is afoot, and the government will make it right. They'll take a big chunk from them, uh, keep most for themselves, and give you a few crumbs. Uh, and like you, when I was growing up, if I saw someone, I remember the first time I saw someone with initials on their shirt, on the sleeve of their shirt. I say, I can't wait to make money. I'll do that. All my shirts have that, right? It's just something I wanted to do. It's just one of these drivers. When my daughter was born, my first child, don't you know how hard I worked? That's all the motivation I needed, not envy. I do want to share one thing, though, because the clock is ticking. If you live in California, real quick, Sean, you need to do these things right now. You need to get out of the state, turn over your driver's license, register your cars in a different state, uh, terminate all your club memberships while you're there, relocate your family to a new state, uh, get all your heirlooms, everything, even photographs, take them out of the state right now, notify your friends that you're moving, get your holiday birthday card, send them from your new address outside of California, change your professional affiliations, and finally, limit any physical contact to California. If you are making yeah. money, you think you're going to make more money. If you're busting your butt to try to make the American dream, move now if you can. 
You know, a couple of things. I, in the years when I needed jobs, and I never got hired by a poor person in my life. I got hired by people that could afford to pay me. Um, two characteristics. Every wealthy person I've ever met in my life, they have two qualities that are consistent. One is they're smart, and two, they're hardworking. I would imagine the smart part of them is going to start exiting California if they try to implement this quickly. Agree or disagree? I agree, but real quick, they're also very frugal. They're also very frugal. Right now in this country, the most frugal group of Americans are the wealthiest Americans out there. They're trading down when they go shopping. They're not buying stuff they can't afford. They're smart. They save. Right. They believe in the long term. All right, Charles Payne. Thank you, my friend. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.